All right, day 147 on the Appalachian Trail. These next two days are going to be different for me. I got into Damascus yesterday and uh, spent the night at Woodchuck Hostel. Wonderful place. Highly recommend it. Good guy. Very knowledgeable, funny. And there were five of us that had been hiking off and on together. And I got there first. And and I did the Appalachian Trail to get there. The others took the uh, Creeper Trail and they weren't as tired. Anyway, bought me a new hat. Oh yeah. So I have a new look now. My OR hat that I like so much, it disappeared at one of the shelters. And uh, so, I guess I contributed it to the AT gods. Anyway, good time. Went out and had lunch at a, a little Mexican restaurant there in town. Had a veggie bur uh, burrito. Delish. And then uh, everyone got there and we decided we were going to go to a place called the brewery. And uh, it's like seven tenths of a mile. So I was walking down there. As I got close to it, I saw this transformer explode up ahead. Everything went dark. So I went to the brewery. Luckily, taps don't need electricity. Got there and uh, stayed for a while. Everybody showed up, played cornhole. And then uh, walked back. We figured the power was on in town. We were going to go eat dinner. But the power was off everywhere. So we uh, got back to the hostel where there was no power and uh, no phone service for AT&T. Everybody else had it, but not AT&T. So uh, we went out on the back porch and uh, made a tomato sandwich and uh, had a Coke to make the sandwich. And uh, that was pretty much, I think I had oatmeal cream pie. <laughs> and uh, that was dinner last night. Power came on about 11 o'clock. I was already asleep, so I was able to finish charging my phone and the battery and the GPS and all that stuff. Uploaded my uh, YouTube, took a while to catch up, but I got it all done. I just would start loading it and go to sleep, wake up a little while later and put on another one. So got those done. But then this morning, I got the uh, Mr. Woodchuck to shuttle me down to Wilbur Dam Road. It's about 40 miles south. And uh, I'm gonna be walking northbound for the next two days, going back to Damascus. So I will uh, have a, a little different perspective for the next two days. Mrs. Greeter's coming up to meet me. And I figured Damascus would be the best place. So she's coming to Damascus and uh, she'll be there Saturday evening and I'll get there sometime Saturday. I have two 18 mile days and uh, trails nice I'm running ridges I've already done the big climb this morning and uh, I'll spend the night tonight in a shelter and then I have a B&B &B for Saturday and Sunday evening and uh, 
she can drive me back down here to this Wilbur Dam Road Appalachian Trail intersection early Monday morning and I can keep going south of it. And that seemed to work. Makes everybody happy. Everybody's happy, that's what you want. So anyway, that's the plan. I'm liking the trail. They've, uh, whoever maintains this section in Tennessee. Oh, by the way, I'm in Tennessee, hot diggity. Um, whoever maintains this has come in here and trimmed back all the undergrowth. Thank you very much. And uh, trail looks good. There's a big old lake over here beside me. Can't really see it. There's too much undergrowth to, or trees blocking the view for kind of see it maybe. But uh, that's that. But anyway, we'll have fun Sunday. I'll take a zero. That'd be the first zero I've had on my southbound journey. I'm trying not to do any. But. This will be all right. It'll be fun. We might go rent a bicycle. My friend uh, Chops suggested that we rent a bicycle and go up and down the Creeper Trail. We'll see. All right, here we go. Day 147 on the Appalachian Trail. All right, I'm in the Van de Venter shelter here in Tennessee. A little different design here, uh, made out of concrete block, one big long flatbed, good overhang, no privy. I don't. I guess Tennessee doesn't believe in privies, but I believe in cheese. Mm -mm. I stopped here for a little snack on my journey north, and here we go. All right, finally got my shoes dried out yesterday. You know what that means, don't you? It's raining. <laughs> I'm running this big long ridge today on the way back up to uh, Damascus. Yeah. In the rain. Oh boy. All right. It quit raining. I looked on the uh, radar. I actually have signal at and on this ridge. Yay. And uh, it looks like most of the rain's gone. Forecast is good for tomorrow and the next day. Yeah. And so I took my jacket off. I actually put on my rain jacket for a while. It's raining pretty heavy there. I just stopped at the shelter and ate me some M&M's and drank a little water. And I think I had a couple of those uh, salty and sweet bars with uh, cashews. I like them. Oh, I had a cliff bar too. That was kind of my late lunch. But I I'm enjoying the trail today. Heading back to Damascus. I called my mother-in-law, sweet lady that she is. Wished her a happy birthday today. And uh, told her what I was doing. And she says, you're on the road to Damascus. She started talking about the religious significance of that. Sounds like I better do some research. But uh, it's all good. Thought I heard a bear a while ago. Big crashing sound in the woods. Stomping around. I was walking by. It was running from me, whatever it was. But I never saw it. I guess it could be a big old buck or something, but it is what it is. Uh, the privies in ten privies, huh? The uh, shelters in Tennessee are 
on a different model than I've seen. So, usually what I've seen so far, I've only seen two, and they were the same. They were concrete block and a flat uh, sleeping area. And it had a table out front. Somebody left a bunch of trash in the fire pit a while ago. I guess they, I don't understand it. At least they put it in a fire pit. You know, that pack it in, pack it out thing. Well, all I'm gonna say is most through hikers I've seen, they really follow that. Pack it in, pack it out. You're not gonna worry about seeing a bunch of junk. But that was some tuna, foil tuna packages. Uh, look at that, that's the sun coming out. Holy moly! Here's my rhododendron forest. I went down to a little stream while I go and got water. Pretty nice. All right. I was looking back at some of my videos. One of the shorter videos I did, one of the shorter days I did, was one of the longer videos. It's when I went over that Virginia Highlands and with all of the horses and uh, stuff, the fat man squeeze and. I, uh, I don't want my videos to get too long. I don't want you guys to want to watch them, not to have to endure them. So I'll try to keep them a little shorter. But anyway, so here we go. Day 147 on the Appalachian Trail. Northbound. Running this big old ridge. And I'm liking it. It's a good trail today. That was the monument to Nick Grandstaff, or Nick the Hermit. He lived atop Iron Mountain here at the Dividing Line. And uh, in Gut Hook, there's an interesting article about him. He lived up here, farmed up here. But stayed by himself. Nick the Hermit. Anyway, I found that fascinating. So I took some pictures. First I thought it was a chimney. Then when I started reading it, I thought that was pretty cool. Did a little research and now I know about Nick the Hermit. Y'all can Google Nick the Hermit or Nick Grandstaff and it might take you to that link. There you go. That was his monument. All right, it's one of my friends from up north. Look at that. What a cool looking little newt. He's just sitting here on a log, all happy on the middle of the trail. All right, this is the Cross Mountain Trail. It's part of the Appalachian Trail, but it's a handicap accessible trail. It's kind of neat. push a wheelchair but I guess you could anyway it's a pretty trail came out of the woods a while ago bam here's this I'm sitting out here on a bench in the middle of a cow pasture. 
This is the end of the Handicap Accessible Trail. Eating me a little snack, a little less than three miles to the shelter. It's going to be good.